Motor City machine guns being put oh, into it's that better, match. Right? So much, much better wrestling match. But so here's the thing. Okay, so um, I mean, there's two things. They have like a billion guys on the roster, and for a pay per view, they're bringing in guys from Impact. Now, I'm not complaining because they bring in guys. You know, again, um, you know, Will Osprey is going to be there on Wednesday in Chicago. So is he going to be there on Sunday for the pay per view? I mean, in theory. That would make a lot of sense. I don't know what match he's going to be in, or if he's or if, if he's going to be in for that matter. But but aside from that, it's like if the Motor City Machine Guns were you know because one of the things is like FTR have these all these tag team titles, and they're not even wrestling a tag team match on the show. And Wardlow, no, and the acclaimed are getting a tag team title match. Okay, I know. Which don't get me started on that, but. Um, the thing is, is that if they're, you know, I mean, they should be wrestling for the championship um, because they've got three sets of belts and should be the number one contenders with three sets of belts, right? Well, I believe they've been the number one contenders for about uh, 16 straight weeks or something like that. Well, the then rankings. they should be getting a championship match, especially since the claimed are getting the... But but even if even if you go in there, there's you can, you can book this differently if you don't want to put them in that championship match, okay? Um, with the idea that... Um, you know, Lee and Strickland and FTR are both baby faces. But then again, Lee and Strickland and the acclaimed are both baby faces too. So you can't even make that argument. But anyway, you could say like, okay, these guys, you know, they could go in there and defend the AAA or the IWGP. Uh, you can't do both. You'd have to do one or the other because um, New Japan would never let them do a IWGP title match with the AAA tag team title match on this in the same match but they could certainly defend their ring of honor belts or their iwgp belts against the motor city machine gun in a straight tag team match leaving wardlow to do a singles match which he should be in anyway um and it would be you know i mean like at that point when you're going okay we're getting ftr against the motor city machine guns i wouldn't complain at all that they're not getting a, an AEW tag team title match because you're going to get this great match. And I, you know, with with Jay Lethal and the Machine Guns against FTR and Wardlow, judging from this match, it's probably going to be an awesome match. So I don't want to say anything bad about an awesome match, but it would be better. You know, I mean, as, as soon as I saw, like, God, if you're going to bring in the Motor City Machine Guns and not even use your own teams, which is fine. I mean, because Motor City Machine Guns are, are a better team than any team I could come up with for that match. Anyway, you know, that's, you know, that they don't have. So why don't you just make it a Ring of Honor tag team title match or a IWGP tag team title match, you know, or whatever. You know, I mean, I'm sure AAA would love, would absolutely love the idea that their tag team titles are defended on a, on a, um, you know, an AEW pay-per-view and a match with FTR and the machine guns that could probably, you know, this is going to be a hard show to steal because, um, you know, there's a lot of big, you know, Danielson and, and uh, Jericho, just for one. But this match could steal the show. And even in the six-man tag, it could steal the show. But but in the four-way, first time ever, Motor City Machine Guns against FTR, I think it's the first time ever. Certainly the first time in any kind of great, um, on any kind of a high profile. Um, man, sitting right there. Um, so... I don't know. Maybe maybe they're building it up for the November. They, they'll shoot an angle and build up for the November pay per view, and then all will be fine. And if that's the case, that's cool. But it just, it seems like such an. I don't know. I've seen all these FTR matches. I've wanted to see. They all seem like naturals, and none of them happen. And and it's not the six man tag is not the best use of them. They got three freaking sets of belts, and then you use them in a six man. And Wardlow's got a singles belt that, you know. Wardlow needs to be fed, you know, like a big dominant singles win, not a six-man tag win. So anyway, there. and the Thunder Rosa 